Oh wow, afternoon everybody, it's us. Oh wow, what a day. Bird. Bird. Muddy bird. Yeah, it's been a crazy 24 hours here at Squirking to Manor. We've had, we had like a, was it a month's rain in, in an hour yesterday? And um, pretty good. Oh, hi. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming. Um, it is still, it is still a decidedly pants day here at Squirking to Manor. I'll take my hood off because I'm down. No kissings. All right, I understand. What you doing? Hey. Good. Yeah, it's a bit squirking to bog. It's really crappy. It's um, I've been up since five, so I look and feel like a dropped meat pie. And um, <laughs> hey, hi. And um, yeah, I got woken up at five a.m. by our guttering at the back of the house blocking and then overflowing onto a whole bunch of like plastic and that kind of thing so it made a terrible noise hey hi mum yeah it is a little bit wet fortunately at the moment we're undercover we're in the we're in the bedroomy bit so it's not too bad but yeah and um oh wow yeah so so i had to sling some clothes on and a waterproof coat and go outside and unblock unblock the guttering and then i figured you know my my alarm clock goes off at six anyway by then it was like half past five so it was like well i'm up now aren't i <laughs> right then look heard yeah about about an hour after we got off precast yesterday um it just absolutely smashed down with rain just like just like yeah yeah Wee. so it crapped today So if you've been sleeping in most of the day. We have noticed that the amount of time she's staying in the nest is decreasing. It's decreasing quite rapidly. At the moment she she spends a lot of the time standing on the edge of it, but not a huge amount of time, comparatively speaking, um, actually actually in the nest. You see, while I'm talking to you now, she's gonna fall asleep in it or something to prove me wrong. But, uh, Yeah, everything's crap and muddy and sticky and gooey and there. <laughs> yeah, definitely if you're eggy. What you got, bird? And of course, she's so wet that I can't do her mic treatment. Because, you know, she has to be... Bird has to be reasonably dry before you can do that. So. And I think there's a bit, there's a single bit on you that you could call dry, is there, mate? Hey. Right? Yeah, those are my fingers. That's not that weird, is it? Hmm? So yeah, I've had to sit inside all day. Just, yeah, I hate it. I hate sitting indoors. It's just like a, it's just been like a really crap, wet, crappy Sunday sort of thing. You know, it's one of those sort of days today. I think even Sophie and the crows have been feeling it. They've all been like quite, quite quiet and a bit bit thoughtful, you know what I mean? It's one of those sort of things. There are spiders up there, mate. There are spiders up there. Oh come on. Yeah. Rainy thoughts. It's been it's been raining various strengths wise the entire day. There's no way you're pecking that. There's no way you're pecking that beak trimming thing. Oh, I see. You want it gone, don't you? Yeah. She's not pecking it so much as she's pecking the wire that holds it on. Yeah, 
we're still getting loads of stretchies though. Hey, we're all good, camera. Yeah, there is that. There's no more thunder, definitely. Yeah, it it was really weird. It was it went super dark and then just thunder and lightning and ah, just craziness. Hey, hello. <laughs> What do you reckon? Hello. Oh, hang on. Look what we've got. Ugh. Oh, super hard, thank you. <laughs> she, she's still arranging things in her nest and still twiddling my stick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You know, she's still got an opinion on where things go in her nest. And that bird, what's that? I think you've arranged for it to, to rain all day, so I can't do the mic treatment, haven't you? You done to your tail. Oh, poor bird, it's all wet. Yup. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think we are very close to the end of Nest Fest. Yeah. Um, the mite treatment doesn't bother us particularly. She gets frustrated because I think when when you first do it, I think it's distracting because it's sort of like you have to do it in the small of a back sort of thing, like in between her two wings, like in between her shoulder blades, as, as, it, as it were. And um, what happens is I think it trickles down her back slightly. And I think she finds that really distracting because she goes a bit zoomy when you first do it. She goes a bit zoomy for like an hour after you, you, you've done it. But once once that's gone, oh, more super hearts, thanks. Um, but once once like an hour or so is gone and it's, it's spread onto her skin, I don't think it bothers her at all. Yeah, late breed today. I, I, was, I was in stupid, stupid Microsoft Teams meetings all, all day and most of the afternoon. So yeah, that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it's once she's... When she's used to it on her skin, or she can't feel it anymore, it's um, it doesn't bother her. You'd have to be careful. I think there was one year where I I did the mic treatment, and within like within like ten minutes, she she washed it off. She had just gone in the bath and washed it off, and it's just like yeah, scumbag bird. So what you have to do is you have to like quietly take away. You have to do it. The optimum time to do it is when I take all the bowls in to wash them because then there's no water that she can bathe in for like 15, 20 minutes. And um, so she can't be a magpie scumbag and wash it off straight away. Um, no, you only have to do it once, maybe twice a year sort of thing. It's just, um, it's, it's three treatments uh, a month, a uh, week apart. So you just have to pick a day and go like Monday, Monday and Monday sort of thing. And it's just, it's, it's a, as I say, it's just a, it's just a spot on treatment. You just have to like put like two or three little droplets of the stuff like, here in the small of her back where she can't lick it and um that's it no more screechy mites hey eh, bird <laughs> yeah what it is is it's um it's a she's got a little cough which is indicative of her having a flat fly somewhere on her body so yeah, Dr. Flatfly has to go. Oh, her, her cough is related. Oh, I'm getting rained on really hard. <laughs> the cough is related to the mite treatment and the, the cough will go within like a day or two of the mite treatment. But she has to be completely dry before I can do the mite treatment. If she can just stand there and wash it off, it doesn't count. She doesn't really use a lot of dry grass. We put some in one year and it didn't really, it didn't really do a huge amount of business. It wasn't, it wasn't like hated because you can, you can tell when Sophie doesn't like something because she'll, she'll pick it up, look you in the face and like drop it on the floor out of her beak sort of thing. Um, yeah, Mr. Flatfly needs eviction notice, definitely. Um, she's not doing the standard stuff that 
flat flies make birds do like they they make them super itchy and really um really grumpy as well like really irritated she's not doing that so much but yeah she's definitely got the cough so and i say this is about the right sort of time for flat fly season so fair dues um yeah but the dried grass didn't do a huge amount of business the um flat fly is like a little parasite that um what happens is birds have a oh no quick barge lesson birds have a little gland like at the at the bottom of their spine on like the top of their tail if you like like right where their back stops being their back and starts being their tail so in here um on on the top of them they have a they have a little gland that secretes oil and what that does is it's the oil they work over oh why stick it's the it's the oil they work over their feathers to make their feathers waterproof but flat the flat fly sort of like grabs onto that gland because it's actually like a little it's, it's a little nipple sort of thing it's not a nipple obviously but it's that kind of that kind of shape and they grab onto that and they feed off the oil that's on their feathers and um it doesn't really harm the bird other than the fact it gives them like a funny little cough and makes them snappy and irritable um so yeah do yourself a favor do not google flat fly I, i've said this before Whatever you do, do not Google flat fly, because if you do, Google will show you an image of the flat fly and you will be awake for days. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it makes them cough. It, I, I think it just... Honestly, I don't know. Um, I remember the first time she had the cough, we didn't know what it was. I asked a couple of vets and a few like bird people on, online and they just went... I sent them a recording of it and just went, oh yeah, it's flat fly. It's the, flat, it's the cough you get from flat fly. Why am I getting the look? Why am I getting the look? Was something else getting the look past me? Something else. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so... Yeah, and just like tons of people are just like, oh, she's got flat fly. Give her some ivermectin and it, it'll sort itself out. And yeah, completely does. But yeah, nature is weird. Do not, yeah, I mean... By all means, Google it, but if you're... If you're um, arachnophobic or weirded out by sort of crabs or any sort of like scuttly stuff like that i wouldn't i wouldn't do it it's the sort of thing that you um is it raincoat <laughs> glasses isn't it? yeah um if you it's one of the things that i remember i looked it up and um it's the sort of thing that looking at the picture and reading the wikipedia article makes you feel itchy somehow the sort of thing when you see like you see like a picture of a flea and you're like mm, i'm itchy now that sort of sensation it's not comfy not comfy i wouldn't but then i'm not the boss of you if you want to google it, google it. <laughs> like eyebrow mites and that kind of thing yeah but in the wild they would um in the wild they would um the flat fly would eventually fall off because eventually it would just get old and fat and full of the stuff it's parasitically eating and would just the life cycle of it is that they would it's a bit like fleas you can have you can have a flat fly and not be it's not like a oh, i thought that was thunder then it's just a truck uh, <laughs> oh don't google eyebrow mites don't do that <laughs> don't do that that's also very squicky You're tuned to Ickcast. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, hang on. You got some spiders? Can you see something? Yeah. Can you see? Eyebrow mites are quite goth because they live on tears. Uh, <laughs> I know it's weird, isn't it, when you see a tail, when, when you see a bird that doesn't have a huge um, a tail, you're just like, where where is the bird's tail? Oh no, of course, yeah, not all of, not all birds have have such magnificent tails. Hey mate. <laughs> you know. Right, come on bird, I'm getting soaked and you need some supper. What's that say, mate? 
my phone's got a big droplet of water on it just where the um <laughs> assassin bugs what it sounds like something from like command and conquer <laughs> Right, come on, bird. Let me get the lolly stick out because I've got to go in and make you some supper. Ready? Where's the lolly stick? It's underneath the coat. Hang on a sec. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that sort of thing. Coming new for Xbox. So thanks for coming, everybody. Um, it's always lovely to see you. If you've stumbled across this on Periscope and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, her Twitter handle is at Bree Sophie Bree. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> or if you prefer, you can Google Sophie the Magpie. I don't think he needs there. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm fishing up because I'm getting soaked. <laughs> um, cheers all. See you tomorrow for hopefully a dry one. Bye for now.